You knew this morning more members of the boys' soccer team have been saved from a cave in Thailand. Twelve boys and their coach were trapped two and a half miles into the cave when it flooded more than two weeks ago. Four of them were rescued Sunday. A fifth boy was rescued this morning, and there are reports that a six is nearing the cave's exit right now. Officials say that same diver that made the first rescue is doing the second, and cave rescue experts say this is no easy task. You can't make a horror movie that would even compare. And I've been involved in cave rescue for 30 years, and I cannot uh, even think of one that was this complicated. The good news is, is that the first phase was successful. They've had an opportunity to show it works. It's still dangerous, but it's much better odds for the remaining kids to come out now because of those initial ones. Officials say the four who were rescued over the weekend were taken to the hospital, but they are expected to be okay. And a diving instructor from the Carolinas is weighing in on this cave rescue and the efforts in Thailand. Cave diving is one of those fields where the mortality rate is fairly high. Just because even doing everything right, things go wrong. Art Alexander is a diving instructor at Raleigh's Carolina Dive Center. He says even the most experienced divers can run into potential issues. Visibility, fitting through tight spaces, and air consumption can be a problem. Still, Alexander says he's hopeful the divers will be able to get everyone out safely.